In this video, we will demonstrate how to connect and configure our LPPS 22 series linear potentiometer sensor with a PMD 4XT series digital gauge. We will begin by connecting the linear potentiometer's lead wires to the gauge using the supplied wire insertion tool. If you don't have the tool, a flathead screwdriver with a narrow blade can be used instead. The PMD4XT digital gauge has a built-in 10 volts DC sensor excitation supply on terminals 1 and 3 on connector 2. Excitation positive, which is the brown wire, connects to terminal number 3. Excitation negative, which is the blue wire, connects to terminal number 1. The linear potentiometer's signal output, which is the black wire, connects to screw terminal number 6. Finally, connect a 2-inch length of insulated copper jumper wire between terminal 1 and terminal 4. Next, set your power supply to the required input voltage for your gauge. For this example, it is 24 volts DC. Now that the power supply is set to the correct voltage, power it down until after it is wired to the gauge. Then connect the positive wire from the power supply to screw terminal 1 on connector 1, and the negative wire to screw terminal 2 on connector 1. We are now ready to apply power to our gauge and begin the programming process. The first step is to calculate the scale factor, which is the full stroke of the linear potentiometer in engineering units. To calculate this, we need to determine the full stroke length of the potentiometer and the gauge's excitation voltage. In this instance, the full stroke length of the potentiometer is 4 inches. The excitation voltage is obtained by measuring the voltage across terminals 1 and 3 on connector 2. Using a multimeter, touch the positive probe to terminal 3 and the negative probe to terminal 1. In this instance, the excitation voltage is 10.21 volts. To calculate the scale factor, the equation is the full stroke length of the potentiometer, which is 4 inches, divided by the excitation voltage, which is 10.21 volts, times 10. This equals 3.917. Write this number down for later use. Now we need to program the input type, decimal point, and scale factor. Begin by pressing the data key once to enter the programming mode. Now pro is on your screen, indicating that we have entered the programming mode. Press the right arrow key once. Now CN1NP is visible on your screen. Press the data key once. Now pro C is visible on the screen. If the screen displays load or temp, press the right arrow key to cycle to Pro C. Press the data key once. Now 10 volts is visible on your screen. If the screen displays 20 milliamps, press the right arrow key to cycle to 10 volts. Press the data button to return to Pro. Press the right arrow key twice. CNDSP should be visible on the display. Press the data key twice. IMP1 will flash, then use the arrow keys to enter 0 volts. Press the data key once. DSP1 will flash, then use the arrow keys to enter 0 inches. Press the data key once. We will now set the decimal place location. Use the right arrow key to move the decimal. In this example, we will use 3 decimal places. Press the data key once. IMP2 will flash. Then use the right arrow keys to change the value to our excitation voltage of 10 volts. Press the data key once. SP2 will flash, then use the arrow keys to input our calculated value of 3.917 inches. Press the data key twice to exit the programming mode. The PMD4XT now displays the potentiometer's position from 0 to 4 inches. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and click the bell to turn on notifications. For additional pricing and technical questions, contact us now to speak to an experienced application engineer. Harold G. Shavitz Industries, performance and reliability is our business. Thanks for being on our team.